Hey everyone, we just launched improved campaign naming as well as auto adding your UTM parameters for your Facebook ads. So what that means is that if you come in here and launch uh, and create any templates inside of Play, whatever you kind of name this template, this will be used in the campaign name as well. So if this is template gym, whatever sort of name that you add right here for the template for you and for your clients, um, this is going to be in the campaign name. So name this right here. You can also, when you're creating your ads now, you can add the campaign name here. If you don't want us to auto create a name for you for the campaign, uh, you can kind of name it whatever you want when you're creating your ad right here to just add the campaign name. Let me show you what this looks like in Facebook ads though. So now when you create your ad inside of Facebook ads, this is how the campaign name will be created. So it'll be your Facebook page right here, whatever Facebook page that you select to represent the ad. It won't say play here. This will be your Facebook page or your client's Facebook page. It'll have the goal of the campaign. And if you use a template, it'll also include the template name in the campaign name as well as here. So whatever targeting you use, it will say if you're using broad open targeting, it'll say all. If you're using interests, it'll say interests. If you're using custom audiences, it'll say custom audiences or lookalikes because you could build all of those inside of play. It'll also say at the ad set level, the uh, template name right here at the ad set level. At the ad level, what we've done is that we've auto added your UTM parameters for you. So when anytime you create an ad, you don't even have to worry about it, but these URL parameters will automatically be created just so you can better track your campaign, your ad set and your ad level performance and where that lead is coming from. So um, these will automatically be created campaign source, campaign medium, campaign name. It's all dynamic right here. And we've also added this. This exactly matches um, how high level recommends to do it as well. So if you're using go high level, um, this is going to match up perfectly to your go high level integration. And real quick, if you're not using a template, this is what the campaign naming will look like. You could always add your own campaign name, but this is what it'll be auto set as. So it'll be your Facebook page. It won't say play. It'll be the goal of the campaign right here and whether you're using images or videos here, I'm using interest in this campaign. Uh, so this is what the ad set will say interest right here. And it'll say whether I'm using images or videos. And then at the ad level, you'll still have your custom UTM parameters uh, auto added uh, for you right here.